Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm the AI Product Specialist here in London HQ. And today we're going to be going over save options within AI. So, saving your project files is very important in any software that you're working with, uh, especially AI. So we, we want to make sure that we have a large back catalog of save versions so that if we ever come to issues of corruption, we can go back to one of those versions and load it up and get back to where we were working on. So in AI, in the bottom right hand corner, you've got file, save as, save, project browser. We're going to use the save as more often than not. So what this allows us to do is give a version name. And now if we make any changes to our program, we can just go back, save as, a second version name. And using this naming scheme means that it's really easy to go back. If at any point in time you just want to do a quick save, you can double click the AI logo and that will just save it with the same file name. And that's exactly the same as going file, save. If at any point in time a file gets corrupted when transferring between devices or in some form of hard drive failure, uh, it may load the default file quite badly. So what we can do is in our projects directory, there is a file here called default. And this tells AI which project file to load on default when the program starts up. So if we want just a blank project on AI startup, what we can do is we can delete that, save, close down this window. Now if we close AI, normally what would happen is when we reboot it the next time, it will load that previous file. But now because we've cleared the default folder, open up AI, it means it opens up as normally, but without a project file loaded, which can be quite useful if our previous file has been corrupted, because then we can just go file, open, navigate to our projects, and maybe load up a default or an earlier version. And then that will load. Another way of file recovery is you'll notice whenever you save a file, it'll save a .scb and a .bak. Uh, the scb is the normal project file, but the bak is a backup. So if I ever want to use that, I can actually go in here and rename that file extension to .scb. And now I have that accessible from AI. So to recap, whenever we save, we're going to use this bottom right hand corner. If we ever save with this top left hand corner, uh, it can mean that we only save the current patch that's open and not necessarily the whole show file. So for good practice, always use that bottom right hand corner save. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you'd like to know more about AI, check out our other videos and I'll see you guys soon.